Hello my friends, David Kessler here and welcome back to the studio. Today I have the most, one of the most common questions that I receive both from the general public and from other artists at workshops. When do I know my painting is finished? I get this from students all the time. I get this question if I have a solo show or I'm in a group show. Somebody will always, always ask, how do you know when it's finished? <laughs> and it always reminds me of a, of a Brian Rutenberg video where he said, you don't ask the baker, when is it a cupcake? It's finished when it's a cupcake. <laughs> and I tell this to people sometimes and they look at me like I got lobsters coming out of my ears. But I think you really have to have uh, either, and I mentioned this in a previous video or in another video, uh, I think you have to have some intentions for your work and or some sort of a baseline criteria from which you evaluate your work to know when the painting is finished. And I understand, you know, why somebody in the general public that maybe doesn't have an art education or is not familiar with abstract painting, I understand why they would say, you know, how do you know when it's finished? Because typically they're used to, you know, people copying photographs and it's finished when it looks like the picture. Uh, but I, I just can't understand why artists would ask, even on their own work, is it finished? You're the artist. You're supposed to know when it's finished, right? That's your job as a painter to know when the painting's finished. Um, and I see these posts on social media where the artist is asking people, they're asking their followers, well, do you think it's finished? That's ludicrous. Dudes and dudettes, you're the artists. Don't ask other people if it's finished. They're not going to know. It's your job to know when your painting is finished. Your painting's finished when you've met the intentions of the work. What were your intentions to begin with? Did you have a baseline criteria for evaluating your paintings? You have to have that. If you don't have some sort of a baseline, it's like anything else in life or in business. If you don't have a baseline to compare results to, how do you know that the results meet the intentions or the baseline criteria? I don't know. There's no other way to know, right? So you as the artist have to know based on your intentions, or how you typically would evaluate your work if the painting is finished. Okay, I mean, it's not, it's not rocket science, right? <clears throat> In an abstract painting, <clears throat> just like any other kind of painting, you have to have uh, some way to evaluate your work. You can't just, because you, because you won't be able to be objective with your own work. So if you don't have some criteria from which to judge it, you know, you're going to say, oh, well, you know, it's probably finished. It looks fine. Well, okay. No problem. But you have to know, as the artist, you have to have some way to evaluate your work so that you know when it's finished. And I'll give you a tip. Most artists take the paintings too far, and I think you have to take a painting too far many times to understand when to stop painting. And I see it all the time, and we've talked about it in other videos, the tendency for, particularly for students, to overwork is high. It's a high tendency. It happens all the time. They just keep painting. They don't take time to uh, evaluate what it is that they've done. They just keep putting paint on there no matter what. Or if I give people a time limit, they just work within the time limit no matter the results of the paint. Right? So, so be able to analyze what it is that you're doing. Uh, have some criteria from which to do that, to do the analysis. And, you know, overwork 50 paintings or 75 paintings or 100 paintings. Overwork the crap out of them. And then you'll realize, oh gosh, I went too far. Okay, this is what I did when I went too far. You know, if I backed off, and, you know, and, and, and finished 30 minutes before that, then maybe that'll work. So you have to overwork so many paintings before you understand when to stop so that you don't overwork. And believe me, if you have some kind of a criteria that you can use for self-evaluation, 
It will help you. It will help move you forward. And you'll never have to say again or ask someone else, is it finished? I promise you, it'll work. All right, so if you like the video, please share it with your friends. If you're not a subscriber, I would certainly encourage you to, to click the little red button there on YouTube and subscribe. Um, if you want to learn more about what it is that we do in abstract painting, or if you want to experiment with abstract painting or develop some criteria for self-evaluation, please join me for a workshop I teach all over the country. I have a link below to the workshop page of my website where you can see where I'm going to be and register. And I hope this video was helpful for you, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.